Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over seven different mechanics tradings ranked from easy to hard. And all of these trainings that I'm going to be showing you guys are all very useful and can be incorporated into your everyday game. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so that you guys can learn how to master all of these different mechanics. So the first thing I want to show you, which is under the easy category, is just some backwards Mongo classic. And what this is, is place a ramp, edit the tiles like this or like th or like this and then you want to place a wall like this and just do an edit either it be this or all four of these tiles and you want to basically do it like just back to back exactly like I'm doing and you can also flip the rams and stuff and what this will do is just get you very familiar and comfortable with these two build pieces and their editing tiles so that you guys can get your fundamentals right for a ramp edit and a wall edit now the next two things under the easy category are double edits and triple edits and these two are going under this category because I'm assuming that you guys are very familiar with this game and anyone that even is trying to get good at this game has to have like be able to do double edits and triple edits consistently because if you can't do these two type of edits um, your mechanics are just not going to get anywhere so these two things you should have mastered or you should master before even continuing this video and for this drill you basically just want to go either back to back like double edits like this uh, or you can just do that for triple edits as well or you can take a break in between each edit so I pretend I do a double edit I place a ramp and then I place another ramp and then do another triple edit and, or you could just go like back to back like I showed you before and basically what this will do is get you familiar with all these build pieces and just get your triple edits and double edits like straighten out so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is going to fall into the medium category and this is just something called side jumps and this is where you can get on a ramp, like stand on a ramp like here, and then just side jump up above for like another layer. And this is especially useful in build fight situations. And for this drill, what you want to do is have a ramp, a floor, and a cone. And you just want to side jump and catch yourself with a wall and a floor. And you want to continue doing that. So if I go left, you want to turn left right here. Place another uh, wall, floor, ramp, and a cone. And just do the, another, another side jump just like that. And you can continue to do this so that your side jumps are perfect because these are really, really useful in build fights. So yeah, just like that. And as you can see, I'm doing it without sprint as well. It'll just help you because it's easier with sprint. And I'm just showing you this because you don't need sprint to do this. So yeah, that's basically what a side jump is. And it's really, really useful. So this is something you guys should definitely master. So the next thing under the medium category is something like this. And it's basically just a protective high ground like type of build or like it's not a retake so I don't want to say retake just something where like if my enemy is up there and I'm trying to go up I can just do this and it protects me basically and for this training uh it, this is literally all you're doing so you're going like up a ramp turning around placing walls like two layers up like this and then a cone up here and yeah this is the training right here it's very useful in build fights again and it's just very protective and then you can turn around and then start making your way up like this way so you know that's basically what the mechanic training for this one is it's very simple very straightforward and it's under the medium category because it's definitely much harder than the other ones i've shown okay so now the first thing under uh, the hard section is i don't exactly have a name for it but it's basically where you it's like cone recess i guess so you edit a cone into a ramp instead of placing a ramp and then you place a floor and then a cone above that edited ramp you edit that like with a double edit place a wall here and if you want here and then you want to reset the floor and then reset the cone and then again edit this cone into a ramp and just continuously do that until you're like mastered with it and you can also just jump so it's easier so i'm gonna try doing it like in fast without messing up for a few times so as you can see, I'm doing it right here. And it's basically, this is like very useful for just getting up and being again, very protective. As, as you can see all my like, it's basically an advanced 90 almost you could say. So like you're basically doing the same thing you would do in 90s, but it's just way more advanced. Okay, so now another thing under the hard category is quad edits. And I'm putting this under the hard category because if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're not very, very good with mechanics. So quad edit would fall under the hard category, maybe the medium category. And a quad edit, if you don't know what it is, is a cone edited it into a ramp. Then you have a triple edit set up up here, meaning you have a double edit with a floor and a cone and then a wall. And then you edit that wall into a triple edit. So instead of placing a ramp like 
uh, this and then triple editing, you're basically placing a cone and then triple editing like that. And this is called a quad edit. The thing with quad edits is they're not like useful, but they are just like very flashy. So if you like go for clips a lot or something, quad edit is your best friend because it's just very flashy, as I said before. So this is not something necessary to learn, but it's flashy. And if you want to learn it and if you want to be a fast editor, it's something you should be able to do. Okay, so the final thing under the hard category is another type of sty jump, and it's basically a ramp. And then you double edit a cone like this, or obviously it can go the other way, vice versa. And once you do this, you want to place a ramp like this. And you got to make sure that the cone's edited like this, because if they do this, then it's going to be, like, the wall will still place, but, like, it just, like, shows less, like, you have less space to work with and just jump. So have that double edit like this. Place a wall right here connected to the ramp, and then you want to edit the four tiles like this. Sprint up and catch yourself with a wall and a ramp. And again, you can do the same thing, and this is basically just to drill. So again, double edit, wall, catch yourself with a wall and cone, and just continuously do that. So yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, it's really like it's not it's hard but it's not the hardest thing so it's definitely doable and again it's something it's useful and flashy at the same time so this one's definitely something you want to know how to do so yeah guys that's it for today's youtube video and if you guys found this helpful and you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comment section below and i'll reply to all of you guys and if you want to support me further make sure you use code mellow in the fortnite item shop and i'll catch you guys in the next one